Hi guys and welcome back to my hermit crab care series. This is part two of hermit crab substrate. If you missed part one, make sure you go and check it out. In that video, I talk about all the different types of hermit crab substrates, the good and the bad ones. But for today's video, I'm going to talk about some of the more fine-tuned details, such as how deep your substrate should be, the consistency of it, and at the very end, I'm going to give you some special tips. So the first thing I want to go over is substrate depth. So there seems to be some confusion on how deep substrate should be. Some people say the minimum is 6 inches deep, while other people say that it is 3 to 4 times the depth of your hermit crab shell. So to clear this up for you, 6 inches is the minimum depth for all species and all sizes of hermit crabs. What that means is that even if you have a teeny tiny hermit crab, the minimum depth you want is still 6 inches. However, you also want it to be three to four times as deep as your hermit crab shell. This means that for any hermit crab over two inches long, six inches is not deep enough for them. So for any crab bigger than two inches, you wanna start following the rule of three to four times as deep as their shell. Please keep in mind that more is always better and the deeper your substrate is, the easier and safer it will be for your hermit crabs to molt. I currently have 8 inches of substrate in my crab habitat, even though that is significantly deeper than my crabs need. One last thing I want to note is that some species of hermit crabs are more likely to burrow than others. These would be the strawberry hermit crab and the Ecuadorian hermit crab. And for these species, it is recommended that you have a minimum depth of 10 inches to 12 inches. Next, we're going to move on to consistency. So we've all heard the phrase sandcastle consistency for hermit crabs, but what exactly does that mean? Well, what it means is that you actually want to be able to make a sandcastle with your substrate. You don't want your substrate to be dripping wet, but you also don't want it to be too dry. The best way to tell if your substrate is the right consistency is to actually make a sandcastle with it and see if it holds its shape. So in this video here, you could see that the substrate was too dry, whereas in this one, it holds its shape much better. The reason consistency is so important is because it is essential for your crabs to be able to molt properly. If your substrate is too wet when a hermit crab is molting, they could easily drown or bacteria will grow in your tank. If your substrate is too dry, the hermit crabs will not be able to tunnel properly and could get trapped below the surface. So in the case where your substrate is too wet, all you have to do is add more substrate that's dry on top of it. So for example, you would add more sand or dry eco earth to help absorb some of the water. So if your substrate is too dry, what you need to do is add water to it. Remember that this water needs to be dechlorinated and nothing that you wouldn't give your hermit crabs to drink. From that point, you're going to mix the substrate really, really well and continue mixing it and adding water until you get the right consistency. Now, there are two problems with this method, one being that it is easier for bacteria to grow after doing this, so keep a really good eye on your tank to make sure that you're not having any bacterial growth. You'll usually see it in the corners of the tank. The other problem is that you cannot do this when you have a hermit crab molting because you will potentially drown and kill them. It is always better to be proactive and not let your crab attack get to that point to begin with. Before I end this video, I want to give you guys some quick tips that will hopefully help you avoid the mistakes that I made. My first tip is to always make your substrate an inch or two deeper than you actually want it to be. The reason is that your hermit crabs will quickly pack it down. My second tip is that you don't replace your substrate too frequently. I replace mine every six months to a year, and I know other people that wait a couple years. As long as your tank conditions are good, there's no need to spend the extra time and money replacing it frequently. And my last and most important tip for you guys that I just learned recently is not to put your heater below your substrate. This clip here is the perfect example of how not to do it. The correct way to do it is to place the heater on the back or side of your tank above the substrate. If you place the heater below the substrate line, you will get what I have with the super dry substrate that your hermit crabs cannot molt in. Alright guys, that is all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like and make sure you subscribe to see all the hermit crab care videos. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!